Wow. Did you know that bees are dying? That is bad news. If all the bees died, there'd be no food. Bees are very important. Yes, they are. <laughs> Speaking of bees, one of our little friends is here now. You know, Anna, if you ignore it, it will fly away. But if you swat it, it might sting you. I'll ignore it. I can ignore it. See? I'm ignoring it. Anna, are you afraid of bees? What makes you say that? Anna, you should call my friend Caroline. She's a beekeeper and a bee educator. If you talk to her, she'll probably help you get over your fear of bees. I'm not afraid of bees! <laughs> Here's your card. In this lesson, you can learn about conditionals. They have if, and, will, or would. There are two kinds of conditional sentences in this lesson. Type 1 conditionals have a real event and a result that probably will happen. Chances are good. Here is the pattern. If plus present tense verb, will plus future tense verb. Kaveh uses this when he says, If you ignore it, it will fly away. Type 2 conditionals have a possible event and a result that may or may not happen. We don't know. Here is the pattern. If plus past tense verb, would plus infinitive verb. Kave uses this pattern when he says, If all the bees died, there'd be no food. Look for the if in the sentence to find more conditionals in today's lesson. I'll color them too. I think I'm at the wrong address. This does not look like a place where bees are kept. Oh, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for beekeeper Caroline. I'm here to take her learn to love bees class. You're in the right place. I'm Caroline. Oh, nice to meet you. Um, Caroline, I thought this class used real bees and real hives. It does. If you look in my backyard, you will see my bees. I'm a home beekeeper. What? You live with bees? That is really amazing and at the same time really scary. It's not scary. If you come, I'll show you. Caroline, how many bees are in that hive? About 30,000 in each. What? That's amazing. But aren't you afraid they're gonna come out and kill you? Not at all, Anna. Even my children help me. Tell me, why are you afraid of bees? I don't know. Well, when I was a little girl, my mom ran out of honey and I really wanted honey for my pancakes. So I climbed high into a tree and hit a beehive with a stick several times. Then I reached inside with my bare hands to pull the honey out. That's when I got stung a lot. Caroline, if you hit a beehive with a stick and reach inside, you might get stung. No, Anna, if you do those things, you will get stung. Yes, I did. And you know that it was your fault you got stung, don't you? Yes, I did. Bees know your feelings. And if you stay calm, the bees will be calm. If you're nervous, the bees will be nervous. And if bees are nervous, they may sting. So please, be calm. I will be calm. I am calm. <laughs> OK, I'm ready. <sighs> I'm ready. Great, let's get our equipment on. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not calm. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Give me one minute to be calm. <sighs> are you ready for one more conditional sentence? If you are not afraid, you will join us next time to learn more about bees. 